Hey everyone, so I just want to share a quick project that I did for you guys. Um, this is a special gift box um, slash little uh, suitcase I did for someone. Um, she does watch YouTube, so I'm not gonna. Um, there was a little name plate that goes right here. Um, I used my Epiphany Crafts tool, but I didn't put it on yet because I didn't want her to see it. Um, she's a great inspiration to all of us on YouTube, I'm sure, for everyone out there who's a crafter. You've seen her videos. Um, so this is supposed to be a birthday gift. Um, and then time passed and then a Christmas gift and time passed so now it's just a thank you happy new year gift <laughs> so anyhow let's get started this is one of those boxes that you get from Michaels it's super cute it's designed to be like a suitcase and it could just sit on your desk um, when she's done um, you know with all the goodies inside it could be like a little framelit that holds a photo or whatever she wants to do with it um, I did a lot of detail on it super duper cute um, so I'm just take you guys to show you guys what I did um, so the first thing I did was, it was um, just a plain wood color. So I took some of this um, rustic red color. It was like a deep barn red. Um, and then I painted it all over, but it was too boring. So what I did was I used um, the folk art vintage white. And I went all over the whole box. And then I sanded it with my um, Tim Holtz distressing tool. Uh, his sanding tool I mean and it gave it like a really really great texture and I love the way it came out um, so that's what I did the paper I used um, was the Mariposa collection by WCWV um, I use this really chocolate deep dark brown and it has butterflies on it and it's super cool because um, if you look it has uh, the bodies of the um, butterflies have a little silver or um, glitter on it so it's pretty cool and so what I also did was, these are those dollar bin frames from Michaels. Um, it's $1.50 now, but um, when they were a dollar, I got them and I bought a whole bunch of them. And this one was actually super duper bright orange, you guys. But I took some of that same vintage white paint and pinned it out over. Um, because some of that color underneath shows through, not the bright orange, but you could tell there was a color underneath. I love the way it came out because it still looks very vintage-y. Um, and then I took some of... Um, uh, Adirondacks gold dabber paint and I put it on here um, I was gonna use my antique rub and buff but I didn't have my antique rub and buff but if you could see it came out really really great it still looks like the antique rub and buff and because it's paint it was e it was much easier to smooth around anyway and put apply it so I really like that um, and then I put some I am rose cherry blossoms and um, you can insert a photo underneath here. I didn't glue it all the way down. It is glued, um, but I left it movable so that she can tuck a photo under, and when she's done, she can just glue it down. Um, it's still, I mean, it's pretty good on there, but uh, just to hold it in place, she can glue it down after she puts the photo inside. And these are my favorite. Um, these are from Carla S001's Etsy store. If you guys haven't checked her out, she's great, and I love all her stuff, and she's super sweet. Hey, Carla. Um, and I love these wheat sprays because if you do this, um, they actually can shape so I shape I kind of tuck them round like this so that they hug the corner um, of this frame so I rounded it off and then over here I used um, a variety of flowers from different companies these are some I am roses um, that I sprayed scintillating silver with uh, Lindy, Stamp Lindy Stamp Gang's uh, scintillating silver thanks Arlene for the tip oh my gosh it is super sparkly I love it I used some white mini prima roses um, that I put vintage um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, da, 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 da. What's that? Um, so, ooh, the ink. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm at a block. Um, vintage photo. There you go. I put that on the roses, and then I put a little butterfly charm here. Um, this is a petal of black flower paper flower that has glitter on it already. Um, these are some I am roses skeleton leaves, and then this very gorgeous trim is from a treasurenest.com. And if you can see these little gold sprays right here, um, these are the sprays from Michaels um, with those little filler filler sprays they have for flowers. Um, that's what I used. And then, let's see, and then I put on my own homemade stick pin right here. I love the stick pin. It has some jewels and a little butterfly. Um, so yeah, that's the front of this. And then, this is, like I said, it's designed to be like a little suitcase. So it has a little clasp and it opens up this and then it opens like that and those little inside of suitcase um you guys know what i'm talking about they have that little mesh liner on the flat part of the suitcase i wanted to replicate that so i made my own little pocket 
um, that, you know, on a real suitcase is used for like, um, you know, to throw stuff in there, like your undergarments or like flip flops or something like that. And for mine, I use the, the pocket. I made it out of lace. So it's really cute lace. It has a gathering at the top, so it's tightened. Um, and I put a whole bunch of different lace and trims and um, pearl trims, uh, some goodies for her up there. So I made a cute little pocket. I just um, use glue at the top. And then I made these little pockets. Um, or these little bags that I put some gifts inside. Um, I had other gifts inside, but I took them out. Um, so that way, you know, the person who's gonna open it, if she knew, if she saw the stuff inside, she'd know what they were for or who it was for, so. But I made these little bags and they were made out of paper bags and, and I just added some trim and just made them a little girlier. This is some shipping ribbon. And then this one, I made the same thing. I made these little bags, put some lace, a tag, and then I, on each of them, I sprayed iridescent gold um, by Tattered Angels uh, Glimmer Mist, which is my favorite. And then I embossed um, the bags, as you can see. So yeah, so that's just my quick little, um, my quick little suitcase um, box that I did. And inside, I sprayed Tattered Angels Chocolate Covered Cherries, which is my new favorite color. And this is that red I was talking about that it was, or this like brownish red that I painted over. So. And the back just has the paper again. And all you have to do is just close it up like that. And then it just sits. So it's a cute little, um, you could even put a mini inside. I've made minis and put them inside here before. Um, but right now it's just, you, it's a cute little mini, a uh, cute little frame. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's just a quick little gift. Uh, I'll put the name and finish taking photos of it on my blog once it's sent to her, uh, once I send it off to her. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.